Hi guys, welcome back to New Nerds. Um, this is going to be our second unboxing video. Um, once again, we're doing the Reaper um, Phones 5 Kickstarter uh, that we got recently. Um, once again, I can't reiterate how how fantastic Bones products are. Reaper miniatures are they're they're really well they're real, really well sculpted. Um, they put a lot of love into their what they do, uh, and they have a lot of like really good painting videos too. So if you want to be catching on Twitch, um, they do some really good stuff. Um, but let's get into it. For this one, we are going to be doing the Bones Greek Odyssey. So up front we have a Hydra. Looks like we have some kind of iron golem. On the back we have a Cyclops and Harpy and Centaur. And on the other side looks like it's some kind of a cloud giant or giant test, excuse me. So let's get into this. That glasses, I'm kind of into it. Ooh, there's some big ones. Okay, well, let's just start with this big guy. Open you. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is a Cerberus. <gasps> yeah. Oh, can I do that? That's going to be awesome. Please. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I want to put the, I want to glue these guys together and we'll get some close ups um, um, because you're not going to want to see them. Okay, can I put up one up? And then here's like a a pillar, I guess. Yeah, it's a Greek pillar or a statue. Yeah, statue so slash for, pillar for some ruins. It's like uh, mm. oh, pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, here we have a Pegasus, which once again I'll glue this together so that we can see everything. Mm -hmm. can see it together. Looks like we have a satyr, right? A satyr, yeah. Oh, that's correct. Very okay. good. I kind of want to eat a Cerberus and a cedar. Cedar. Ooh, big old Minotaur. Ooh, wee! That dude's awesome. Another. Ooh. Uh huh. Dang it. Another. Dang it, I forgot what these are called. Again. Cedar. Oh, cedar. Oh, yeah, yeah cedar. cedar. Female cedar. Yeah, female. This time. Here we have Cyclops. Once again, I'll put this together in a few pieces. Uh, maybe I'll fill in some of these gaps and uh, make it look a little better. And uh, get it painted for you guys, or eventually get it painted in some video, future video. Okay. And now we have Medusa. Just don't look into her. Right. People, look away from her until she is covered. Okay. You ready to get on the pillar? Yep. And it's this time of a female statue. Okay. Here we have the cloud giantess. She's pretty big. A lot of these are pretty big. That's her compared to the gigantic Cyclops. Whoa. So we'll get this one together as well. Um, uh, this looks like a panther-ish dog thing. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to look that one up. Cedar? I mean, really cool centaur, excuse me. Centaur? Ooh, that's, that is cool. Now we've got um, a weird um, uh, archer. Can we archer here? Yeah, probably supposed to represent like an Amazon, an Amazon or something. Yeah. yeah. Here we have the iron golem. It's like he's kind of like a war golem. Maybe he's dedicated to Ares. He's got a bunch of rams all over him. Ooh, I do not know who the heck this is supposed to be. Just like a Greek 
scholar. Oh, here is a Greek scholar for you guys. We have a lion. I'm guessing this is the one that Hercules fought. I don't know what that painter is. some of these models uh, from the, the Greek Odyssey from Reaper. Let's see how some of these things look. Here we can see the Cloud Giantess. It's a really, really good sculpt on this thing. Beautiful detail. Okay, next up we have the Hydra. Notice this is one of the uh, mythical monsters that Hercules had killed. I had to burn the neck stumps. Every time he would cut one off, it would just grow back. Once again, great detail. Next up is the Hippogriff. You can see this guy is pretty big as well. Great detail on the feathers. It's going to be a, a lot of fun to paint. Oh, now we have Pegasus. Let's... Look at that. Uh, the tail and mane look really good. The feather detail, once again, is really, really good. Okay, now we have Cerberus, three-headed dog that guarded Hades, the entrance to Hades. With these, looks like he's uh, pretty vicious, he's pretty big too. I have not glued him down to the base yet, um, just for ease of painting when it comes to making the base, or when painting the base, I should say. A lot of good detail in there too. You got some skulls and skeletons, some leftover building material. Pretty cool. Okay, next up is the giant. This giant Cyclops. It looks like he's reaching out for... Maybe it's the one that uh, Odysseus had to fight. Or outsmarted, I should say. Uh, neat thing about this one is he actually came with two hands. One actually holding a sheep. As you can kind of see there. I chose to go with the club, though, because it just looked more menacing. The club is a... looks like part of a coliseum. There you can see it. Back, he's got some sheepskin. 
and uh, when I go to, you'll notice some uh, mold lines, or not just mold lines, but some space spots there. When I go to paint these, I'll actually fill those in and uh, make it smooth. So, okay, okay. Now we have the war golem. Kind of looks like he's, uh, as I said, dedicated to Ares. Looks like I got a bunch of rams all over him, which was the, one of the symbols of Ares. This one will be extremely neat to paint, especially do some kind of like a vergery in there. Okay, we got some columns or statues. We need to actually maybe put these together and put something over top of them to connect them or use them in some way in some kind of a building. It's pretty cool. Okay, next up we have what I'm assuming is the Nimian Lion, one of the other of uh, Hercules' task. Matter of fact, I believe this was the first labor he had to do, was kill this guy. Okay, now on to Hercules. At least I think this is Hercules. He's got the big club, he's got the lion, the Nimian Lion pelt there, which is the one we just saw. It's like he's uh, just waiting to waiting to uh, kick somebody's butt. Next up is the centaur. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be a particular person, particular centaur in Greek mythology, uh, or if it's just uh, just a regular centaur. It's really cool, the detail in the helmet. It's really good. It's like uh, some really good armor there, too. It's going to be, that one's going to be really fun to paint. Next up is the minotaur. Look, he's uh, heads down. Looks like he's getting ready to try to charge something. It's like in really good detail, you can see his tail sticking out there. Some detail to the head axe as well. Looks like there's some chips in there. Some wear and tear. Looks like you see some battles. Okay, next up is a creature and that I don't actually ever remember hearing about before. It's called a Lacrota. Let's see if we can get some better images of this guy. Uh, it looks like it is a... Uh, a combination of a, a stag, a lion, um, and some other types of creatures too. I'm not really seeing much of a stag except for maybe the feet. But, yeah, interesting. Okay, we have Medusa now. That's a really, really interesting miniature. It's like, uh, you can't really see it in this detail, but on the camera, unfortunately, but in the uh, hair, it actually does have snakes in there. Some cracks on the column right there, pretty cool. And uh, wrapping around that other part of the column. Okay, next up we have some harpies. Two different ones here, two different sculpts. Not a good detail on that base. The wings, feathers look really good. Okay, next up we have uh, actually Circe. Uh, I was thinking that it was actually Medea before I had gotten my my uh, Greek myth messed up, apparently. Um, this is one of the sorceresses that Odysseus um, comes across when he's on his way to go home. Okay, now we have some Greek adventurers. We have the Argonaut. Really good detail on that shield. We have a Greek mage. Owl on the staff. And then finally, an archer. Okay, last but not least, we have some satyrs. Half goat, half human. Got one one male, one female here, looks like. Okay, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, video review of those miniatures. Um, 
the the Greek goddessy was uh, one of the ones I had to get because I absolutely love Greek mythology, and those look like they're going to be a lot of fun to paint. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment. Help the channel grow. Hope to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye.